Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about taking away. Get your notebooks ready. Right, well, I often hear people completely misusing the word take away or subtract, and it is so confusing. And the point of this video is to clear up exactly how we talk about taking away so that you can be understood more clearly and you can say exactly what you mean and people will know what you mean when you say it. So, I want to introduce you to someone. Here's Fred. Fred has just won a whole load of money on the lottery. When I say a whole load, he's won £100. He's very happy with that though. Very, very happy. As evidenced by the size of his smile. Okay, but the trouble is, Fred has a very mean grandmother. So much so that she decides she wants to take away some of his money. Give me 20. So she takes some money away from Fred. And that leaves Fred with 80 pounds and an unhappy face. Now notice how we talked about taking away there. We said that his gran had taken away from Fred. So if I was going to write this out as a little mathematical expression, presumably I'd write this, wouldn't I? And that's fine, we can see what's happening there with the maths. But to explain that in English, we need to say 100 take away 20. Or we need to say 20 take away from 100. But what I hear so many people saying, which is really difficult to understand, because I don't think they mean it when they say it, is they say, for a problem like this, 100 take away from 20. Now that is possible to do. You can take 100 away from 20. Of course you'll get a negative answer. But it's not usually what people mean when they say it. They shouldn't use... The, if they're going to say take away from, then we need to change the numbers round. We need to swap the 100 in this example with the 20. So that 100 should go over here, and that 20 needs to go over here. It's ten, 20 take away from 100. And now that you can say for this problem. Right, let's just quickly practice some here. So let's say uh, the math says we're going to do that. Now how do we say that? Do we say 10 subtract from 5? Do we say 5 subtract from 10? Do we say 10 take away 5? How do we say that? Well, we would say 10 subtract 5 or we would say 5 subtract from 10. The rule is that if you're trying to read from left to right, 10 take away 5, then you say take away or subtract. But if you're trying to talk about the second number first, if you want to sort of talk about it in this direction, you would need to say take away from or subtract from. So just be careful to get the order right so that you say what you mean and people will know what you mean when you say it. Okay, rewind the video if you need to and watch it again and I hope that's helped clarify how to talk about takeaway. Bye.